Thank you for joining me, the real Howard Yates, with Speaking in Drums here on YouTube, and also part of my podcast. I'm going to talk about one of the products that I've just recently purchased and actually got to try out this past Saturday night. Um, this is a drum company, a stick company, that I've wanted to go with for a very long time, and for some reason just never got around to doing it. So, the stick company is Vader. Uh, for years I've been using either Zildjian or Vic Firth, um, occasionally using Promark, not really a big fan of their stuff. So the one that I tried out, and I've got actually a couple of different pair that I, I really like for different reasons, and they're both fairly heavy, uh, the one I'm going to talk about today is the Fatback model 3A, if you can see it right there. Oh yeah. This is a, a fairly weighty stick and i'm used to playing larger sticks because of well for one i was in marching band for several years and i did um play snare and we used the ralph hardeman drumsticks back then from vic firth they were solid white they had the white nylon tip and those are how we basically cut our teeth and also uh busted our <laughs> our little our ring finger right there uh with the traditional grip those uh many band-aids and uh Lots of rawness <laughs> from from that time period, those summers where we went back to playing. Uh, it took a little time getting used to those particular sticks, but I love them, and I love the weight. And I think a lot of it has to do with it, with that concept of the weight itself, I think, can determine how much work I actually have to do. And I find that with a lighter stick, it seems like I have to focus more, I have to use more muscle, and... And finer muscles too, so I'm I'm having to concentrate a little bit more. It just seems like it's a lot more work for me, and I can't seem to relax and let the stick do its work. So even when I'm playing fast music, I typically will use practically the same type of drumstick. So I mean that doesn't seem ergonomically sound. It doesn't seem like the right way that maybe Bob Ross or somebody would paint something. Obviously, if you wanted to do something, you'd use the the big brush that he'd beat the devil out of. Or he'd use a fan brush to do certain things to get certain uh, uh, certain uh, parts of the spruce trees to turn out the way they do, or the or using the little um, the little scraper there to get the um, parts of the the snow drifts on the mountaintops to look a certain way. So, I mean, there's you can look at drumming in that aspect of using certain tools for the job for certain songs and styles and and applications and tempo. But um, for me, I'm fairly comfortable with using typically heavier sticks. I, th I think I just physically like the feel of having to either put a little more physicality into it, a little more effort and more work. Um, but also I find that even if I'm playing faster stuff, and again, it's just me, it's a preference, it's just my style. But I also find that with some of these um, thicker larger drumsticks, that they do a lot of the work for me, so I don't have to play as much or put as much behind them sometimes, so I can actually kind of relax a little bit. Um, and, you know, a lot of that comes from the fact that I play lounge metal, and you know, a lot of that comes from the fact that I play lounge metal, which means I play in really loud places with loud instruments, and it's ridiculous. It really is. There's some venues that we shouldn't even be playing at, but we get asked to come back, and then we're asked to turn down every single time. And I'm like, oh my god. So anyhow, the Fat Back 3A Vader. There it is right there. Oh yeah. Alright, so this stick here, again, uh, pretty beefy. And it doesn't, it surprisingly doesn't weigh that much. It, it's, I wouldn't say that it has a hollow feel to it. I don't know how to describe it. Like it, it seems like it's hollow, but it's not. It it plays like it's a full, thick piece of wood, like it's a just one solid piece, which it is. But sometimes, with a certain feel of some sticks, they feel that they're lighter. And this one has kind of a light feel, but I like the fact that it has such like um, a pretty beefy neck, and that barrel tip is pretty big. If you ever look at the ones from like the Steve Gadd or the Dave Weckl models from Vic Firth, those are like, or even like the Peter Erskine, which is even smaller than those, they have a little bead, um, a barrel tip, but this one is actually quite big. And 
I really had no problems because of that with any stick definition on the bell, the ride symbol, or anything like that. And considering I took these out for a test spin this weekend, and I doubt you can see it, but I don't have that many marks on here. And this is actually the one I probably primarily use in my right hand. The other one has some stick marks in it as well, as you might be able to see. Maybe, maybe not. But... They're not terribly chipped or anything like that. And part of it is how you angle your cymbals and how hard you play and whether or not you let somebody else use your drumsticks and they break them, thank you, um, which has happened to me recently. Somebody decided to take my signature Mike Portnoy. Now, again, I don't use Promark very often. I'm not a big fan of them, but the ones that I do like are the Mike Portnoy signature sticks, the 420 models. And I had an old set that were that had like the purple, like lavender, pink kind of like paint on them took them to a gig to play on somebody else's drum set and then somehow or another those sticks ended up in the hands of somebody else during the transition of all these different drummers and i go back to the set at the end of the night and find that one of those sticks is literally broken in half so whoever did that you're an asshole thanks there was no need for that those sticks were in perfectly good condition before you did that, so piss off you. Keeping it PC here, kids. So, I'm very happy with this particular set of sticks. Fatback. I had pretty good control over them. The one thing I don't know about Vader drumsticks is if they're anything like Vic Firth, where Vic Firth claims they have some sort of a wax that heats up in your hands, so it kind of creates a tacky surface. Those are the words of Vic Firth on a video that I watched. Um, I find myself doing this a lot. So, kind of just doing that. For me to kind of get my own sort of grip going, I also like to use the Vader, um, well, I mean, there's, there's different companies that have them too, but the, the grip tape that goes around, right? Um, I, I like using that because that even makes me feel like I don't have to even put that much of a grip on it. It's again, it's sort of like letting the instrument or the stick itself do the work and having the grip tape on there does the same thing for me. But the uh, Fatback, I think, fits my hands quite well. Overall, I was very impressed with the, uh, the dynamic ability. Again, it is a very thick drumstick. Again, very thick barrel tip, uh, but surprisingly a little light. But when I, as soon as I played them on the pads, when I took them for a test spin at Guitar Center when nobody was around... Oh yeah, I never got back to that part about how I got to the drumstick. So you have to go behind the counter, apparently, when there's nobody there. Nobody was there for 20 minutes or so. No other person showed up, no customers, nobody. And they've put the sticks behind the counter. So I went around the counter, which I guess I'm not supposed to do, but hey, I have to get the drumsticks, right? I go back there, and it's blocked off by a wedge monitor and an entire electronic drum kit. So I have to stand on, like, one foot take one hand and lean over the uh the electronic kit and start randomly reaching for sticks i mean this is how ridiculous this was i was just randomly grabbing stuff trying to get, <laughs> trying to find a pair of sticks that i could use so then i'd try them hack out on the pad and everything so but i settled on these and was very happy with them um i would suggest trying these out if you get a chance if you find a store that has them or if you find a guitar center that has the drumsticks behind the counter just go ahead and go back there and get them and try them out because nobody's going to help you get them for you the only reason i checked out is because i played on the pads for about a good 10 to 15 minutes afterwards and somebody finally showed up and decided they were gonna uh cash me out so <clears throat> i'm very pleased with these i will continue to use them until further notice and hopefully I can keep them as good of shape as I did with these. And again, hey, I play three, four-hour shows, so this, for a first run, is actually really good. And both of them look about the same, roughly. But a uh, pretty durable stick. Not too heavy, but not too light either. Kind of a medium weight, but a thick stick with a big, thick barrel tip. Um, very happy with that. So... I'm Howard Yates for Speaking in Drums. I'll see you later.